Hey, my name is Seth and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Doing an overnight hike along the Patchog Nahantic Trail, which is uh, mostly in Connecticut, a little bit in Rhode Island. I'm at Beach Pond here right on the Rhode Island Connecticut border. And I'm gonna be going in a clockwise direction. Doing this as part of the Border Patrol Challenge, 25 mile loop. It's uh, Route 165. Busy thoroughfare out here in the sticks. First objective is a four mile hike to Greenfall Pond. All right, well that first little road section, it's not particularly fun, they drive fast on that road. Doesn't last long though, and now we are in the forest proper. This trail is really not bad. It's quite walkable. So, Hopefully I should be able to make pretty good time on this trip. This is the longest of the 18 courses in the Border Patrol Challenge. This is a challenge that takes place over calendar winter. 18 different trails ranging from under 3 miles to 25 uh, that you have to complete at your leisure over the course of winter. You upload to a spreadsheet and they uh, score you based on uh, how you compare to, to everyone else. So it's fun, a little competitive, and the nice thing about this longest one, the Patchog Nahantic Loop, is that it doesn't matter how long it takes you. This is the only one that isn't timed, so just completing it is enough. So I figured this would be a good one to do as a, just a backpacking trip. Plenty of baby blue blazes to follow, signifying the Patchog Trail. Gotta keep your eyes peeled at intersections and you'll see them. Yeah, some strong winds coming through until mid afternoon. Temps are not cold at all, it's like 55 degrees. You're dropping down to the 40s for bedtime and then it'll get colder overnight, end up around freezing by the morning. But right now, not cold. I may have to open up this uh, rain jacket. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still spitting. I think I want to keep the raincoat on, but I am getting hot, so let's put them all the way up. Now I got a little more breathable. Right, Lux poncho now, let's keep going. There's one dicey crossing. You don't get too many of them down here. This area, it's not like the whites where there's a lot of raging rivers before, but Today, there's a lot of running water on this trail. I had to take the jacket off. I was overheating. It is 53 degrees out. It's certainly not what you expect mid-January here in Rhode Island. It is what it is. Just the one to get out. At least I'm not hiking in the rain. Got another hour and a half of hiking. That'll bring me to around 3 p.m. And I'll try to look for a camp at that point. Should hopefully put me around eight miles in, I would think, which would be good. Leaving me with a long day too. Yeah, well this isn't much fun. The trail is a stream. Squatch layer. Maybe still occupied. Really big boulders here right by the uh, Greenfall Campground. Really cool. <laughs> I don't think I can get through with the pack on. <sighs> well, tight squeeze there. Just about that uh, Greenfall Pond, and then we're gonna head past the campground and up the Nahantic Trail. Yeah, 
Sixers Greenfall Campground, very popular place in the warmer months. Uh, quiet right now, all closed up for the season. Damn place should be frozen over. Name right. Name right. All right, so this is actually the southern terminus of the Patchogue Trail. This is also the southern terminus of the Nahantic Trail. And now we're gonna take that back northwise. Just realized I spaced on wearing my orange and it's hunting season, so that's not good. All right, uh, since I don't have any orange, we're gonna have to improvise and I'll use my food bag. Just attach it to the outside, it's better than nothing. I just realized I have more orange, in fact. Uh, my underquilt and my hammock are both orange, so almost where I'm gonna camp, but I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is make use of my hammock as a bit of an orange flag on my pack. Just have to be careful with it, but we'll figure something out. We're about six and a half miles in. It's closing in on three o'clock. Almost time to start looking for a place to sleep. All right, huh. Nice little stealth setup here. Hammock. A little stream running nearby which is lovely and I can hear the traffic from Route 165 way off in the distance. This is a perfect place to stop and uh, take it easy for the night and then we'll resume in the morning. Huh, little path leads down to the water. Let's check it out. All right, my three-quarter length Phoenix under quilt and I got my burrow 20 degree top quilt a little overkill tonight maybe but I always get cold so I'm happy with my 20 degree bag I'm happy to be out here back in the woods kind of a fun unconventional way to do this border patrol challenge as an overnight but hey why not this is sort of a redemption trip after my last hammock trip up to the whites in November didn't exactly cover myself in glory on that one. I tied my hammock to a dead tree which fell on me. Luckily I didn't get hurt and I ripped up my top quilt with some stupid hooks. So I made some blunders. It was uh, not my finest hour and I really wanted to get out here today. Part just to kind of wash the taste of that trip out of my mouth and just get a good clean trip in. And so far so good. Found a good spot, very comfy. Uh, and I'm ready to settle down for the night. Plan is to try to get up real early. Maybe be on the trail by five. It could be a pipe dream, but and shoot for it. It's always a tough to get motivated to pack up quick, but I got a lot of miles to cover tomorrow, so I want to get an early start. Those little bugs. It's so warm. It's the middle of January. 
It's warm enough for all these little friggin' things to come out. Hopefully they leave me alone tonight, wherever they are. Some kind of termite or something, I don't know. Just little bugs, little flying bugs. And of course I don't have my bug net because it's the middle of January, so I didn't think I'd need it. Hmm. Rain's picking up a little bit. Wind's picking up a little bit. There's bugs are hanging out. Just me and the bugs. It's 8.24 p.m. Temperature is 44 degrees. Dropping quick. Well, it's 4.15 in the morning. <clears throat> I think at this point I'm up. And it's about 34 degrees out. So the temperature dropped quite a bit. I'm gonna get myself together and try to get out of here pretty early. All right, got my coffee. Coffee in my hammock, can't beat that. It is, it got me cold pretty quick getting out of the hammock to get my food, but warming up again now that I'm back in it. A little bit of wind out there. Definitely feels a lot more like winter this morning than it did yesterday. Well, the bugs cleared out with the cold as I thought they might. Some of them found their way into my hammock, but not too many of them. For the most part, they went back to their home amongst the leaves, I would imagine. Yeah, they were annoying last night. They didn't bite me or anything, as far as I could tell, but I started to... You know how you feel like something's on you, even if it's not doing anything? So I started to feel like, like they were on my neck. They probably weren't. I didn't like them fluttering around, so I'm glad they've departed. All right, I'm already kind of throwing my timetable out the window, but it's nice just laying here. It's already 4.40, I haven't done much. I can get out of here by 5.30, hey! That's a little after 5.30, just started hiking a few minutes ago. Temp is around 34 degrees or so. Spitting out. Ended up putting my raincoat on. I didn't think I would need it this morning, but turns out I did. Probably got about an hour before dawn. All right, made it to the intersection of the Patchogue and the Hantic. This is where I'll peel off from the Hantic, jump back on the patch. Alright, so it is, let's see, it is 7 o'clock on the dot, look at that. It is finally getting light so I can put this headlamp away. Thankfully, I was getting a little tired of using it, so happy for dawn. But it presents a new obstacle because the whole orange snafu, I forgot to wear my orange. So, just thinking this over, I'm going to try something a little strange. So I got an unconventional solution to the problem for today. Uh, we will see how it goes. I'm going to use my hammock as sort of a makeshift toga and see if uh, that would work well to throw some orange on me. This could be a disaster, but I am willing to take the risk. section along the river was nice but it was rooty and rocky and then the trail got really wet with a lot of rock hopping so the first section of the patch all was slow but well, the last mile and a half been very smooth and I've been moving pretty well so let's hope it stays that way for a while I think soon it's going to turn to road but I'm feeling pretty good let's keep moving well I slept pretty well last night few good blocks of sleep in around one o'clock woke up and it was definitely getting colder and I didn't start the night with a hot water bottle because it was so warm but around one 
I got my I made myself get up and you know take care of things heat up some water have a snack do some jumping jacks kind of just to get the old engine going again and uh, I got a nice couple hours of sleeping after that do I look like a hard Christian in this thing What do you got? Ooh, it's a pretty rock. Nice and smooth here. Gotta, where you gotta push it. This is where you gotta push it. This is where you really have to push it. This is where you give it all you have. If your toes begin to hurt, don't worry, it could be worse. Just do the best you can. Don't be sad. I think we're looking at about five more miles to go. I am pretty beat, but we're just gonna keep pushing on this last stretch. Nice little straight section ahead. All right, we got about two and a half miles to go. I'm tired. Spitting. It's been spitting most pretty much all day. So, but temp is 37 degrees. But I'm quite comfortable with my ring coat and wool base layer, and then just my three C's and hiking pants. Get me plenty warm today. And then, Working pretty well, working pretty hard, so yeah, I'll be happy to wrap this one up. All set with all this chewed up muddy ground. Oh that got a little wet. No, I think I'm alright, actually. These boots are great. The Solomon Solomon Ultra Mid something or others. I'll post it. Got me very dry on this trip. All right, now we must leave the Patch Hog Trail due to a poorly controlled campfire last year. A good section of it got burned and is closed for hiking at this time, so they had to reroute down this old road. I've been down it before and it is uh, muddy with lots of ruts. Rain falling a little harder now as we approach the end of this thing. So be it. I won't be deterred. All right, well, that was a great trip. Wet, but enjoyable. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Border Patrol, yeah, yeah. Border Patrol, no, no. This is the Border Patrol. Yeah, the Border Patrol. Yeah, Border Patrol every day. It's the Border Patrol away. That's right, I'm talking Border Patrol. Come on, I'm talking Border Patrol. All right, Border Patrol all the time. Border Patrol, rain or shine. I'm talking Border Patrol. Yeah, yeah, Border Patrol. Whoa, whoa, Border Patrol. Come on, I'm talking Border Patrol. <laughs>